Okay, uh, this is Andy again. Uh, we are going to pick up from where we left on the Fighting Temptation song. Uh, just so we correct some mistakes we have made in the previous video. We said uh, the A was a first inversion and that was not quite correct because this is a second inversion. A minor in root position is played like A, C, E, right? And if we make the last note of the chord, the bottom note, like we're taking the E down, we play it down there, so it becomes second inversion, not first inversion. So we said it was a first inversion, no, it's a second inversion, okay? That's, that is the mistake I think we have made. All right. Um, just to recap what we did the last time, we go again. All right. Now we play again the same thing up, the same way we played it, but it's almost different. It's not exactly the same way we play it. On the right hand, we still start with the same E and C. This is middle C, by the way. Uh, we go. We sort of play the F alone this time. We don't play together with the C. But when we throw in the G, we throw in together with the C. So how do we do that? We go. And then instead of doing the A that we played the last time, like that, because this in actual fact is the part of the F chord, we just played the top notes of it. So this time we won't play the top notes, we'll play the bottom notes, which is going to be F and A. So how do we do that? We do it like so. This is just to give that effect as if it's going down. So again. All right. So if we looked at the bass again, it plays the same thing. It's C, D, E, F. All right. So together it goes. Okay, and then you still do that tapping. Now this time we play the full G chord on the right hand. All right, that's what we do. So what have we done there? When we played the G chord, we played going back to D a little bit and then tapping on the B together with the G. Then we play that A minor second again. We can still play the octave down if you like, or you can just keep it that way, and then we go and play A minor first inversion, I mean, sorry, A minor in root position. That run there, with a D and C, then we go back to G, playing the octave down, but this time we don't run back down the same way we have done in the previous video. So we, we remain with that G again, So we sort of run back up to E, so G. Then we go to F. And on the bass, we're playing a D. So that qualifies as a D minor seventh. All right. So let's do that part again. Uh, what do we do there? Okay. And then we go back to the up. sort of played similarly with the way we played it in the beat. And then all right. So let's do that slowly up and down like that. Now we're going to play the two parts together now. So it goes first part
then the second one. Right, that's what we do. And then in the upcoming video, we'll do the bridge section, which is slightly different from this one, but then it drives back to the same thing. And that's the whole song. So up until next time, goodbye.